It is also the second day of autumn. Hooray! It is also the fifth day we are now having, experiencing, sorry, not having, we're experiencing, uh, weather Armageddon in Perth, Western Australia. Um, the time here is 1.18 p.m. Oh, sorry, 13, 18 p.m. It is weather Armageddon, as I said. We are experiencing weather here that is just incredible. Um, Soul-destroying, mind-sapping. Um, it is just, it feels, I've lived around the world, and this feels like I'm living in the deep tropics at the moment. That's how humid it is. Um, and... The weird thing about that is, is that Perth is actually a desert. Shouldn't have humid weather at all, but it is so humid, you could cut the air off the knife. The reason I'm showing you this is because the sun should set currently 261 degrees west. And if you all remember... Um, if you all remember, which you won't, so I'll remind you, uh, the sun from my house, well, sorry, the compass setting from my house is 270 degrees west. So there it is, Prep Street. The sunset is supposed to be 260 degrees Southwest. Yes, that's right. I did say southwest. So let me read this to you again. 261 degrees west. Well, isn't that amazing? So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that either they don't know how to read a compass but there is no such thing as 260 degrees west. It's southwest or west. Simple as that. Um, look, that's just splitting hairs. But the sun here yesterday was setting so high in the, um, the sky that it was just incredible. Um, as I said, we're now coming into March. So in January when I did this, I believe it was, the sun, look, this is where it was supposed to be setting, 241 degrees southwest. We're now at 260 degree, 61 degrees official um, sunset. Now, remember I said to you back then that that's where the sun set. And that has been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt by a video that came out recently by NASA showing the way the Earth was tilting. Interesting, hey? So in actual fact, the sun hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> so why am I showing you this? Well, let's have a look at this. I thought I'd have a look at good old Trig Beach Cam, which is just down the road for me, to see if I could see anything. And lo and behold, I sure as bloody hell could. Now, okay, so this is Trig Beach Cam. I was mainly interested in trying to find out where the sun sat yesterday. Um... And if I have to be honest, if it was 261 degrees west, I'd probably say it's set in the right spot. But I did say that the sun at uh, 1800 here excuse me, was exactly in the wrong spot in the sky. So I know that sounds weird to say, but we checked it uh, here yesterday and it was actually wrong. I don't know how it ended up getting to the right spot, or 
if that is the right spot these days, but it was wrong at 1800. It was literally so high in the sky that it was incredible. I texted everybody and asked them to have a look and everyone agreed with me. Okay, most people agreed with me. Um, I'm gonna play this now. Keep your eye on over here. Away we go. Did you see it? Still there. Still there. Let's go back a bit, shall we? Whoa, there's actually two of them, folks. Now, it would be very easy to dismiss this as lens flares or lens anomalies, anomalies, as the experts say. Um, reflections off the water, uh, reflections off the water into the lens, etc., etc. But it doesn't kind of work out that way, and I'll, I'll go back and show you why. Have a look at these here. These are actually in a line of sunlight. Does that make sense? And these ones. See how these are all in? This is a reflection off the water. Um, it's not really going into the camera. That's a reflection in the water, isn't it? Obviously, going into the camera. These are this reflection here. You can actually see the reflections in the, you know, the, the anomalies in the in the glass. They're going down here. Here's another one going up this way. You know, they're all to be expected, it's nothing unusual. But let me go back a bit. Okay. See that see those? That's what I would expect. These are over here. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, look, there's a perfect example. See that one? Right, now let's go. Folks, these are seriously something different. Notice how the sunlight is actually moving down them from the top to the bottom, which would indicate that they are on the right-hand side of the sun and sitting, if you like, just beside it, but slightly back. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, this was the bit that got me intrigued, all right? Watch how the sun, as I said, it goes from top to bottom. And 
you notice how that is covering the whole of it? And then you have that scenario where there's two of them. Now, have you noticed that the front of this one, there's actually something in front of it? It's hard to see, I know, but if you actually pull your screens up, you'll be able to have a look at it. See it? One there, second one there, and right in front of it is another one. Now that tells you that it's, it has characteristics of something on its own and the light is being shone off it. Okay, well this is it. I'll only take it up to 100 because it kind of distorts after 100, if you know what I mean. I don't want to tighten up as it is. So let me try this. Let's go through the testing procedure. I'll take it to I'll take it to three, okay? Now notice that the sun is going down here and going onto the horizon and it's coming that way. Now this the, the light beam is coming down that way. Now, does that look like a lens refraction to anyone else? Didn't think so. If it is, then, yeah, look, I'm 100% sorry, but I don't think it is. I'm not sorry. Why would I apologise for something I think I'm right about? But I may be wrong. So, let's come out of this. Go back again, 100%. This time, do an invert. It's all about getting the right setting, folks, unfortunately. 